Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. Today I am here with another video for you guys and thank you Dylan for letting me be on your channel once again. If you haven't already, then click the subscribe button down below. Give this video a giant thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know why it is that you enjoy driving for Lyft. And if you haven't checked out my channel yet, then go ahead and head over there, check it out. It's just my name, it's Alexis Goulis and I would love for you to join me over there. Today, I'm just going to talk to you about Lyft and why I like driving for Lyft as a female driver and what the pros and cons are. So, a lot of people are like afraid to join Lyft if they're female um, and they feel like they're putting themselves at danger or at risk or whatever. And I will say that Lyft does everything that they possibly can to keep the information of the passenger and the driver private and there's nothing that crosses like your phone number or anything like that. They don't have any of that information. Um, of course, every time that someone gets into your car, they are I guess able to get in your car with whatever it is that they want they can do anything that they want and you can't really like control what that person is capable of however there are some steps that you can take to keep yourself a little bit more protected and I just want to talk about those with you today so I am NOT driving today so I do not have this stuff on me but normally I have pepper spray I normally have a stun gun with me and I always, always, always record my rides. I have a little dash cam. Um, Dylan will link it down in the description for you guys. And it definitely just like, if anything bad were to happen, then it's on camera. They have proof of it. There's all evidence of it, whatever. Um, another thing that I do is if I know, like I know my town very well and I know that if I'm being sent to an area of town that I know is not safe, then I will decline the ride. And that does, of course, affect my, um, I don't know what they call it. I don't remember what it's called, but like your reliability or something along those lines. I forget what they call it exactly, but um, it does affect that. But I, I mean, it's happened a few times. There's been like two or three times that I have declined a ride because of the location. And I just did that because I felt a lot safer doing that. Another thing that I recommend is, of course, there's more money at night, especially the weekend nights. But personally, I do not drive at night. I did drive at night a couple times and I will just tell you my experience. Everyone's experience is different, but I had multiple different people like try to get me to give them my phone number or whatever. I don't really want to touch on it exactly and then there was another situation where I picked up someone who was extremely intoxicated and it was just not a good situation so um, I would definitely recommend not driving at night if you are a female but if you want to try it out then go for it I know a few people that like I personally know in my life who drive for Lyft and they drive at night and they have no problem and they love it and of course, there's always more money at night, so um, yeah, just personally, I don't drive at night. So another thing that I think is a pro about being a female driver is that you kind of get, and this is just females in general, you're more likely to get tips, and that is because if you are very, very friendly or whatever, men especially tend to tip more if you are a female driver and that's just how it is I'm not gonna get into it but that's just how it is so I don't know overall I wouldn't say that it's a bad thing to drive for Lyft if you're a female and I wouldn't say that it's a good thing to drive for Lyft if you're a female I don't think it makes a huge difference but I will say to just trust your gut trust your instinct and if you need to either cancel a ride or drop someone off or whatever you can do that at any time and yeah so that's all I have to talk about today before you go make sure you click the subscribe button down below to the ride share hub thank you again Dylan for letting me to be on your channel and go over to I'm sorry my son is screaming go over to my channel check it out before you go give this video a thumbs up comment down below you know the drill um i love you guys and i will talk to you next time bye